it's Friday afternoon. On Sunday, I was like so ill. Tried to sleep it off. Monday felt a lot better. I was in Ireland. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we were doing some field work. Yesterday, two funerals, went to Harper Adams. Basically, it was on the go for 15 hours. To the cold church for, for a good hour of it against a radiator, which was like a heat sink. Then I was at a crematorium, it was cold again. Basically, got a chill yesterday. I was dosed up with paracetamol and managed to do the question time thing. Actually, felt not too bad. When I got home last night, I was so tired. And today, I have just been so ill. It's now three o'clock on Friday afternoon, and this is the first time I've come outside. I'm wrapped up warm. Andrew's working some ground, he's been delivering straw this morning. Ross's been delivering wood chip. There's been grain going out that Ian's been sorting. The lads have basically just been running the show. Um, but I'm just going to go and have a look how this field's drying off now anyway. There's a little snippet from last night. Of, I did obviously record it. Farmers Weekly did record it and it will be on their, on their YouTube channel soon. But this is just sort of going into the room and then a little bit afterwards of my thoughts about it. So there's a little sneak peek before the Farmers Weekly bit comes out. So it's two minutes before it starts, we're just working out how everyone is going to fit in. Just on my way out of Harper Adams now, look at that car with a cab on. Yes, yeah, so just done the question time debate, like really, really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure what it'd be like, especially as I've not been feeling that well today. And I've like pretty, uh, I don't know, busy day with two funerals, but, but no, it was good fun. So maybe we'll do some more of them with, uh, I don't know whether it'll be with Farmers Weekly or whoever wants to organise them, but yeah, it's pretty good. On the way home last night, I could see loads of people sort of like putting their hazard lights on and banging it onto the hard shoulder. Anyway, there was a super single tyre right in the middle of the motorway. Anyway, I swerved and it just kind of clipped here. No, it's not done any damage, but obviously the other vehicles that hit it, they did do some damage and that's why they were all pulling over. But yeah, black tyre. In the middle of a dark motorway with no street lights on the M6, uh, it caused quite a bit of chaos. Lads have just been chipping. Uh, the back belt load's got a bit of stuff built up underneath, and it's stalled it. So I'm just going to pull the chipper forwards now and sort that out. So, like I say, I'll go and see what Andrew's been up to. He can seats are on. Andrew's just ripping up this headland now. Level it off, dry it up a little bit. Then we should be able to drill it probably on Monday because it's giving it dry over the weekend. That tractor just the odd time was misfiring again, which is slightly annoying because they messed around with the injectors last year. Thought they'd sorted it, but just just heard it coming towards me then and it, it knocked a little bit. Yeah, it's level now, gets a bit of breeze over it, a bit of sunshine, which is supposed to get on Sunday. Shouldn't dry up too bad. This field across from it looks a bit of a mess from this direction, but this is the one that we that we direct drilled into the into the OSR stubble. So if you look at it like that, it looks awful. But when you look at it that way, nice green rows. The plane coming into the airport as well. Yeah, because the sumo leaves this sort of like corrugated effect, probably a bit hard to see on the camera, but like ridges, a bit like the old ploughs used to leave. You've got like a great surface area for the wind and the sun to dry the soil. So it hopefully did dry off a bit better where it's been compacted on the headlands where we've been turning. Oh, well, that's good. It looks like they've got the chipper working again now because obviously the rear belt had blocked up before. Seems weird looking at the yard, seeing it all dry. Um, someone said yesterday it looked like crazy paving. Yeah, it has broken up pretty badly in places. This bit's been patched up in the past. 
All one three new in really, but cost. Rob's had his hair cut. Dave's wheeling the chipper out the way now. It's gone a little bit quieter. We can now do the birthday bumper. My popular demand, Ian has had his hair cut and a shave, but it's probably because <laughs> he went to a funeral yesterday. Anyway, we've now hit over 25,000. So Ian's going to read it out today because I'm ill. So off we go. Kerry Jones is 11. Annabel MacArthur is 20. Norman MacIver, happy birthday to you. Dave, three, three Dave Pierce, happy birthday. Richard Childers is 42. Henry Townsend is 14. Max Lander is three. Mark Stephen is the big 6-0 as is Neil Butler. Second time on the bumper, also got another one last year for his 59th. <laughs> uh, Charlie Mansell is four, and Nessie Everett the big 5-0. Happy birthday to everyone on there. There you go, and apparently, the Air Ambulance have emailed, thank you to us, because they've seen it hit 25,000. They are going to come out, uh, par paramedic pub, and they might even bring the crew. And they were saying that for January, they did 212 missions. So although 25,000 is, is quite a lot of money, it's, it's quite a bit short of um, what they need each month to run it. Um, when I did that question time thing last night, they were saying about raising money for charity. And Johan, if you're watching, you got it wrong. I think you said £10,000. Well, if you had the birthday bumper to the track to run, that's 100000 without everything else we've done over the last 12 months. So um, I think he missed a note on when he was talking about um, what we've been raising through the channel. So thanks to everyone that's done that because it isn't us. It's everyone that's donated to be on it. So thanks again. This Merlot is now all working out. Paul fixed it yesterday. This one is now having its own regen as well. Um, nothing wrong with it, it's just said it needed one, so that's now performing it now. It's probably finished, to be honest. Um, let's have a look. Does it say on the dashboard? Doesn't say anything, so I presume it's finished. Rob put that in it to stop anyone using it at the time. This box arrived today, packaged very well. Anyway, some goodies from Major, the uh, machinery manufacturer that are missed at Lamb. I did go on the stand, but they weren't there. But anyway, they've sent me some chocolates and some cups, some pink hats, and James, a little uh, baby grow thing. So thank you very much for that. And it's uh, cheered me up after a rubbish day. I'm feeling very ill. And some, I'm sure Oliver will be made up with the, with his pink hats as well. And we've obviously got some more mugs for the brew room. Let's go back a bit. This way. We're just moving the chipper, Dave. Ah, too fast. David put it here, but we couldn't get through, so Rob's gonna move a bit further over. Go on. All right. Um, just back it up so the conveyors over the brake field or the OSR field. Yeah, but there's a low loader there. Oh, you can see it. All right, go on. No, no. No, well, go on. You can get it side of it. Go on. I know you drove off for I moved it. Yeah. I moved one, and as I was getting the other one, you started backing over it, so I left it. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that over there out of the way. If it stays dry, we might actually put some uh, some urea on some of this rape or OSR. Definitely needs a better name, doesn't it? Can anyone think of a better name for it other than Canola or OSR? I feel like it's gone dark quick tonight as well, actually. I thought the nights were uh, pulling out, but because it's, it's quite cloudy. Andrew's still out working that ground. He'd done the headland on the field that we were on and then he'd gone to where we were doing the other day where we had that bit with the landing lights where we'd missed a little strip. He's gone to try and work that up to see if that'll dry out a little bit more. What I was going to do on, was it Wednesday morning? But then it started raining. That'll do! Now he's bought the low loader in. Come on, Nick's low loader. Here's a quiz question for you. Someone has bought a mini Merlot. Guess who? I think you know, leave a comment below. Right, that is all for today. I am going to go in and get a hot bath and try and shake off this cold that just keeps coming back with a vengeance. And hopefully I'll be better tomorrow um, and can get some spraying done because I really want to get some spraying done because I've not been on the sprayer for months and I really like spraying. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.